Alright, hello everyone and welcome to a new World of Warships gameplay. I haven't played, uh... Well, I have been playing this game quite a lot. This is a replay, uh... From the weekend that I played. Uh, but anyways, I haven't been doing a lot of, uh, World of Warships gameplay lately. So, uh, I decided to take, uh, my Minikaze out for a spin in a co-op battle. Uh, we are here on Fault Line. I'm in, uh, once again, my Tier 5 Japanese Destroyer, the Minikaze. Uh, and once again on the map fault line uh, so I decided to uh, roll up on down uh, the middle part of the map uh, I'm being accompanied by San Luis and Minkaze another San Luis and then over here on the western flank we have a Wyoming South Carolina uh, San Luis and then beyond that uh, at what is that like H3 uh, sector H3, I think there's a uh, another San Luis, but I'm not sure. It could be the Phoenix. Uh, but anyways, so I decided to snake on up this way. So, uh, a little bit of uh, stuff concerning the Minikaze. Uh, I actually had unlocked uh, enough research for this uh from the Isokaze quite a while ago but uh, I didn't really in, uh, decide to invest in the Minikaze until a couple weeks ago mainly because I, I thought that the Isokaze was a superior ship even though the guns on the Isokaze weren't glorious they were still pretty decent for a Japanese destroyer and me Minikaze over there uh, ma mainly because of the uh, slow turning speed on these Minikaze's guns. Uh, so I was, uh, my Inion was uh, set on fire there. Torpedoes are out at this San Luis. Also putting the rounds in on them. Uh, but as you can see here, this Minikaze is taking a big hit. I'm down 3,000 health, and I've lost my steering, and I'm on fire. Uh, I previously lost my engine, but I quickly repaired that. Uh, so right now, all I'm all I can basically do is go in a straight line. Now, when I saw these torpedoes, I can't maneuver. Oh, oh glorious! Very honorable. Very honorable dodge those torpedoes that that was so close that could that would have ended me right there now I can't bring my torpedoes to bear on the San Luis right here he's the biggest threat but uh, I get my damage control ability back and I line up for a nice torpedo uh, salvo at him launch all three torpedo uh, tubes at him six torpedoes oh yes there we go. Bam! Now my engine's out again. This thing just keeps getting... It's tormented with these... With the engines being knocked out. As you can see, uh, a way to tell if an enemy ship's engines are knocked out is they'll usually have fire coming out of their smokestacks. This one only is uh, sputtering out smoke. But anyways, we assassinated that San Luis. Uh, and now, even though I did get my first kill and I did get four torpedo hits, uh, I'm on very, very low health. Thankfully, I'm outside of this Phoenix's uh, V range. This thing has a 6.3 kilometer uh, detection range. And I'm pretty sure it's three kilometers uh, from aircraft. So that means that it is pretty sneaky. Not as sneaky as machines like the Isokaze and the uh, Wakatake or the Wakitake at tier 3. Uh, but overall, I've, I think I've played three rounds in the Minikaze. And I just think that the Isokaze is far superior. Uh, for one, it has a lower detection range on the Isokaze. The guns can actually perform decently. Uh, and the maneuverability and speed, they're very similar. I'm pretty sure the Isokaze 
or no, sorry, I'm pretty sure the Minikaze is faster. Uh, I'm not sure if it's more maneuverable, but basically every destroyer, except for some of the low-tier Russian destroyers, are very maneuverable. Doesn't look like those torpedoes are going to hit. Once again, the co-op AI are... They, they have some sort of anti-torpedo thing going on. Because the AI in this game dodged more torpedoes than actual people. This is where... This is the reason why... I put this gameplay up on the channel right here. Hello, launch one torpedo salvo off at him. Hello. Bam, two kills right there. Destroyed the battleship and the Minikaze. Enemy torpedoes going off there. But I do dodge them. And that uh, Megan Vaughn up there in the uh, Minikaze. Uh, you, you don't really hear this a lot, but, uh, this, this time, uh, the boy, my boy, Megan underscore Vaughn, uh, he actually said torpedoes in the water, uh, so that kind of, uh, e even though it was a bit late, uh, it's, it still, uh, gave me a bit of an alert, uh, even though I did manage to maneuver all of them, and he said torpedoes in the water, uh, like a second after they passed me, still, that, that's good destroyer gameplay, uh, and camaraderie there, uh, telling someone, you know, Torpedoes out in your direction. Be careful, uh, because it's it's very annoying when you get killed by your friendly torpedoes, or you kill a friendly with your torpedoes. Uh, but in the latest patch, uh, 0 0.5.2, uh, actually, uh, if you get hit by a friendly torpedo, it's going to do 50% less damage. So uh, that means that if you are unlucky enough. Uh, and you accidentally get hit by a friendly torpedo, uh, then that means that uh, you won't be taking as much damage, especially in battleships, because, you know, the uh, same type of people that play World of Tanks play World of Warships, and sometimes they just fire off the torpedoes. It doesn't matter uh, if any friendlies in the way. They'll just fire them off, and sometimes in those big bustling battleships, like uh, the Wyoming, uh... You, you can get to friendly torpedo pitoed. Sorry, I'm just going to rephrase that. That was a bad pronunciation on my part. Uh, but you can get friendly torpedoed a lot in the Wyoming. Uh, mainly because it is quite a maneuverable, a maneuverable battleship. Uh, all American battleships are fairly, fairly maneuverable. But, uh, you know... So that, that'll that increase, uh, well, I guess decrease the amount of uh, rage that can happen in this game just by a bit. So uh, now there's only a San Luis commanded by Buchan and a Wyoming commanded by Admiral Hipper himself uh, on the enemy team. So we decided to cap, but then we spotted Hipper out there on his battleship. Once again, this is a co-op battle. Uh... Just to clarify that, if any of you missed me saying it earlier. Uh, and it's not actually Admiral Hipper commanding that. I mean, if it is, we would all be dead. He would just be flanking us around the Grand Admiral T Hipper. Uh, but anyways, uh, so three kills, six torpedo hits, five floodings, three incapacitations, uh, and ten uh, hits with our guns. Which is, uh, and really, you, you shouldn't really be using the guns on this unless you have to and you're in a close quarters fight. Uh, because once again, this thing, uh, how many guns does it have? Four? Uh, four guns and, uh, four turrets, so that means there's one, two, three, four guns. I'm pretty sure it has like two machine gun anti-aircraft guns, which you should always turn off your anti-aircraft guns and destroyers by pressing P. Uh, anyways, Hipper doesn't look too good. Uh, we are spotted by him, uh, and our torpedoes have no chance of reaching the Wyoming, so we decide to uh, pump some rounds into him. Now all that's left is a Enemy San Luis. 
And now this is a close game. So, let's move on to the post-game stats. Alrighty, so that was my co-op game in the Minikaze Tier 5 Japanese Destroyer. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video.